Hello, I'm Hex Wedgie, and this is a redo of my previous uh, Elden Ring down patch video uh, on how to down patch Elden Ring 1.10 to 1.09.1 so that you can play Convergence Mod 1.2. I made the first video while I was away from home, uh, kind of rushed. I knew it wasn't 100% quality, but I had just wanted to get something out very quickly. Um, that would help people like me who are struggling to find a visual aid to walk walk us through the down patch version. Uh, and I, I, I knew when I put it out it wasn't perfect. And after I put it out, uh, a lot of people were using it. But uh, one of the guys I really respect on, on Discord reached out and said, you know, you could, you could do a better job than this. And I know those volunteers put in long hours to help the community. Um, for no pay and if they can put in that kind of effort then so can i so this is my attempt to to do a really nice polished job on on this tutorial so i hope it's helpful so the problem we're having is that elden ring recently sent out a patch 1.10 uh, which broke among other things the uh, convergence mod 1.2 and if you run the vanilla elden ring and look in your bottom right hand corner you can see what app version you're on and if you're on app version 110 it doesn't technically matter what your calibration version is since that's simply the version that you're allowed to play online but if your app version is 110 then if you try to play the convergence when you get to character creation so if i do new game here and i get to the character creation instead of seeing the gender selection panel that you're supposed to see in convergence you'll end up seeing the Elden Ring vanilla class selection, which is not what we want, and it's a clear sign that things aren't, aren't compatible here. So what can we do about it? Well, we need to down patch from 110 to 109. So before we get started, I would not recommend this process unless you have unlimited high-speed internet. Um, the depot files that we're gonna download are over 40 gigabytes. If you mess up and have to start over, um, you basically, um, it's, it's not like it can figure out which files it, it already has downloaded and needs to resume. It starts over. So um, you need to have unlimited, unlimited inter internet, high-speed internet, and be patient while these depot files are downloading. Also, uh, these Elden Ring app files are huge. Uh, the Elden Ring game app by itself is 48 gig. So we currently have a 48 gig Elden Ring version 110 on our drives. We're about to download 109 to the depot, which is another 48 gigs. And then if we have the space, we'll copy those depot files over to our Elden Ring live app folder. Uh, and so that's gonna be three copies at 48 gig each. Uh, so I just want you to understand the storage requirements of this down patch process. And also understand that if you have limited space, there's completely a way to do this if you're low on space. So if you, if you really are tight, like under 60 gig, what you can do, actually, if you're, if you're less than, if you're around 10 gig, you can do this. The only way you can do it if you're super low on space is to delete your current Elden Ring 110 um, vanilla app. That'll give you space to do the depot download because it's just going to use the same amount of space. And then once the depot download is finished, you can cut those game folders and paste them into your Elden Ring active app folder, active app game folder. Um, but if you have more space, uh, then you want to take advantage of that space and keep as many copies as you can until you get things tested. So first thing we're going to do is uh, do Windows Command R to open your run command. And we're going to type in the command or, or, or copy and paste the command app data. That's going to open up your app data folder. And from there, we're going to double click roaming. Then double click Elden Ring. And then this big number folder is where your Elden Ring save game files are stored. And we need to clear those out. So we're going to right click it and select pin to quick access if you're Windows 10 or use the Windows 11 menu bar at the top and pin that folder to quick access on the left hand side. And you'll see it appear on the left hand side in quick access. So now you have a choice. If you've got room and you want to save these files, 
uh, you can select cut, select all the files and then select cut and move them somewhere else. Or if you don't need these save files, you can just delete. But we need to have this folder clear. Next thing we're going to do is check a couple of things in the Steam app. So launch your Steam app and go to Library, Elden Ring. Look to the very far right of where you would normally click the green play button and look for the little gear icon. Select that and choose Manage, then Browse Local Files. That's going to open up an Explorer window in the background. That will show you where your Steam app is located. So this is currently game version 110. So if you've got the space, you can simply rename this folder so you know what it is and you can revert to it later. So I'm going to use the rename tool at the top. If you're on Windows 10, just right click the folder and rename that way. And I'm going to rename this ER Game 1.10. Now I'm going to click on the common folder up in the Explorer navigation bar. And from that folder, I'm going to select the Elden Ring folder that's inside it. And once again, pin it to quick access. Either right click and pin if you're Windows 10, or click the Windows 11 menu option bar and select pin to quick access there. And now you'll see it appear on the, the left hand side in quick access. Now we need to evaluate how much free space we've got so we can decide how we're going to manage uh, these, these large files. So the Explorer navigation bar at the top starts out with this PC and then the name of the drive where Steam is installed. So in my case, mine is installed on OSC. So after I take note of what that drive is, I'm going to click on this PC, take a look at that drive, and see how much space I've got. Now this is not typical of my computers to have this much free space. This is a brand new laptop that I just got a few days ago and I'm sure within a couple of months it's going to be full. But right now I've got a lot of space. If you've got over 110 gig, 110 gig, then you're probably free to, to move these, copy these files around without having to cut and paste and delete and stuff. So I got plenty of space, but if you don't have space, we'll talk about your choices. The first choice is you can get rid of the game folder that's sitting in your Elden Ring folder. So left click on the Elden Ring quick access folder on the left hand side, highlight your game folder, and you have the option if you're short on space of cutting it and moving it somewhere else if you think you're going to use it later, or deleting it. Now if you delete it and you go back to game version 110 again, you'll have to go back to the Steam app and do verify files on your Elden Ring uh, app and it'll download 110 again. But if you don't need to use it uh, or don't, aren't worried about downloading again later, you can delete it if you are short on space. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is check a few settings in Steam to make sure we're allowed to use console. So you can't use Steam console if you've got parent mode turned on. So if you're using family mode and have parent turned on, you, you probably want to Google how to turn off parent mode and then go into your Steam app to settings. I believe it's under family, but I don't use it, so I'm not sure. So if you do have parent mode turned on, figure out, uh, Google it and figure out how to turn that off and do that first. And then I go to the cloud settings and I disable Steam Cloud. Uh, so where it says enable Steam Cloud, just slide that slider off to disable Steam Cloud. The next thing we're going to do is open up the actual Steam console. So copy the Steam Open Console command in the video text below and do Windows R to open the Run command and paste that command and click OK. Now we're going to copy the Allow Skip Game Update command that you see in my text. Copy it and paste that into the console command bar area. So typically if you are on a version of a, a, a Steam game and there's a newer version available, this flag, Allow Skip Game Update, by default is set to zero or false, which means you are not allowed to skip a game update if one is available. So we're going to set this to a one, which is true, which means allow us uh, it, Steam is still going to warn us. When we try to play 109, it's going to say, hey, you know, there's a newer version available. 
But if we don't set this flag, it's not going to let us go any further. If we set this flag, it's going to still warn us, but then it'll let us continue and play 109. So we want to paste that command in and hit enter. You'll see the console log at the top display the result. It's going to say, yep, it's turned on. We're good. So now we're going to copy and paste the first depot download command, which is uh, for the very large folder, the, the, the majority of the size of the Elden Ring app. We're going to paste that command in and hit enter. And again, you'll see confirmation in the console log at the top. And then we're going to copy and paste the second uh, depot download folder command in and hit enter. And that command will appear in the console log. What you don't want to do at this point is accidentally reissue any of these download depot commands. Don't get impatient. When they're finished, it will say completed. Wait for it to say completed. If you get in a hurry and issue the same command again, what you're going to get is this error. Error writing chunk. That means you the game files are locked in one download process and you're trying to execute another download process to those same game files and they can, can't write to those files because they're already locked in use by another process. If you do this, your only option, your best option, is to go back to your Steam app and go to Steam Exit, completely exit the Steam app, relaunch the Steam app, and then reissue those data download commands again and this time be patient and let them finish. So you're waiting for it to say depot download completed, complete and in this case the very first one to complete is going to be the smaller of the two folders which is the executable. This is just 29 megabytes and this is the path of where it stores that folder. You're not going to really need to memorize that but if you're curious that's where it's storing your, your depot folder. So now we just wait a very long time for the second large one to complete. And once it's complete, we're finished with the Steam app. So you can close it out, go to Steam Exit, wait for it to close. Okay, now we need to find this stuff. So left click on your Elden Ring folder in Quick Access, and then up in the top Explorer navigation bar, Click on the Steam Apps folder. Once you're viewing the Steam Apps folder, double click Content. Then double click App 1245620. Then double click the first depot folder, 1245621. You'll see a game folder here. So now, depending on whether you have plenty of space or not, if you have plenty of space, you can copy that folder. If you don't have plenty of space, you can cut that folder. So choose which option you need, cut or copy. Select your Elden Ring folder on the left hand side in quick access and then paste. Once that's pasted, go back to the Steam Apps folder up in your Explorer navigation bar, click it. And then you're going to repeat the same path, but then go to the second depot folder. So you're going to open content, then app 1245620, then depot 1245624. And again, you're going to see another game folder. Once again, you choose whether you need to cut it if you're low on space or copy it if you're not low on space. And then again, left click your Elden Ring folder in the left hand quick access and paste it. Now you're going to have two files that are duplicates with the previous folder so you'll get a warning that says we got two files with the same name what do you want to do? I always just do replace the files in the destination. So let that finish and then we've got 1.09 Elden Ring so let's test it out in vanilla just run Elden Ring vanilla like you always do and just make sure in the bottom right hand corner you now see app version 109.1. Now you'll probably also see calibrations version 1.09.1, but don't get afraid if that's not the case. It's not that important. Okay, so now we're on 1.09. We should be able to run Convergence Mod 1.2. So fire up Convergence Mod. Let's do new game just to check. And when we get to the character class selection, we uh, the, the Convergence Mod should start off successfully with the gender selector. 
Uh, and if you see the gender selector here instead of the vanilla character class, then you know that you successfully down patched and you can now run the convergence mod. If you did have a convergence mod 1.2 save file, um, you, you, you're perfectly allowed to copy that save file back into your Elden Ring save game folder. So just left click on that big number file in quick access and paste your previous uh, Elden Ring convergence mod uh, file, save files into this folder. And then you should be fine to run. So I hope this video is helpful. If you have any questions, I'm often around the Discord channel. Uh, so if you see me there, uh, you're welcome to ping me and, and ask me questions. Or uh, if you have any suggestions on how to improve the video, let me know. Um, I just want to thank the guys on the Discord channel who work countless hours uh, without, without pay to help take care of us. Uh, I've learned a lot uh, and met a lot of great people there. And I just want to know that... Uh, I appreciate them, and I thank you for watching.